Hi, I'm Linda Black, the yoga coach. I'm going to teach you about the fifth chakra today, the throat chakra. It resides about right here and next to the thymus and uh, thyroid gland. The color is sky blue. The name of the chakra is called Vishuddhi. Vishuddhi. And it means purification. This is where we speak our truth. And if we're unable, if we're gossipy or not speaking our truth, that could be a signal or a sign that something's off in the throat chakra. Today's practice, we're going to help you balance the throat or fifth chakra. We're going to start with lion's breath and work our way through a shoulder stand and plow fish and then finally um, end in uh, on the floor. Okay, so join me now. Here we go. So the, the breath for Vishuddhi or purification is called lion's breath. We're going to do it in a cat-cow position today. And basically it's opening the mouth, sticking the tongue out, and, and roaring like a lion. So it's an inhale and the exhale is Okay, so we're going to do that with a cat-cow. Hands and knees. And you're going to inhale and pull the belly up. And then exhale, stick the tongue out, look at your nose. Ah. Lion's breath. Inhale. And exhale. Ah. Inhale. Exhale. Like to go full shoulder stand, you're going to extend the legs to the sky and come. 
come as vertical as you can. I'm not quite vertical. I'm working on this shoulder stand. You're going to tighten, press up towards the sky. You see how much energy that puts um, on the throat chakra. I'm really stimulating that area. Wearing my sky blue, wear your sky blue today for purification. We're going to take this into plow, reaching the toes back, lifting the hips up, and stretching the back. Woo! And I can feel that all the way uh, on the back side of the legs and the, the back stretching strongly. Lift the belly, lift the hips and extend towards the sky with the hips. You're elongating the spine. And that's about 10 breaths. So if you're still in your half shoulder stand or supported shoulder stand, that's a perfect place to be. And then you're gonna slowly come out of this posture, one vertebra at a time. I'm gonna lower the back right onto my block. Bend the knees and position the feet flat on the floor. Now once your feet are flat on the floor, your head's not taking the weight, so you can turn your head. And you want to watch that when you've got weight on the shoulders, you do not turn your head. So final position is fish. We're going to do it with a block supporting us underneath. You could do it without a block. So elbows into the mat, lift the chest, and the shoulders arise off the floor. You're going to tip the head back and pull the head towards the tail. So I'm making a stone shape here with the body. Elbows supporting me. Let the shoulders draw back. And then I'm going to take my thumbs, turn them out, and then press the thumbs to the, towards the floor. I'm going to get more open through the chest. So see, now I'm, I'm opening that throat chakra. So we closed it, and then we opened it. We're just stimulating it, balancing the shooting. Five to ten breaths in this posture. If you're right and want to bring your elbows off and you strengthen the neck, a great posture. Other options, extend the legs. Bend, come back to center. Slowly release the head down. Elbows at your side. And remove the block. And then you're just going to roll the head side to side. Roll onto your side. And come back up. And that is our sequence today for the shooting or the throat chakra. Your mantra today is, I speak. I speak my truth and an affirmation. Uh, this is all about, also about hearing too. So I hear and speak the truth. Creativity flows in and through me. My voice is necessary. I accept who I am. I can share my authentic self with others. I can be reliable with myself and others. I can tell myself the truth of a situation and find a way to accept it. Those are your mantras for today. Thank you for participating and may your uh, heart be open to the throat and may you speak your truth this, today. Namaste.